Hey everyone, thought I would give you a little bit of an update here because I think this is something you guys deserve to know about. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I tend to be kind of, you know, selective in what I share about my personal life just because that's the type of person I am, you know, like I feel like there's some things that do belong on YouTube and some things that do not belong on YouTube, even though, you know, again, you guys uh, do deserve to know some things. The reason I'm able to get this video out is because I had some time to think about this and think about what I was going to say. Uh, the reason this video's title is kind of cryptic as well is because I don't want to like, you know, make this overly dramatic or anything like that. But anyways, the sad thing is that about three weeks ago, my dog Lassie, who you guys probably know, has unfortunately passed away. Now, this is another thing that comes into play with this uh, kind of mentality of not sharing everything. Basically, for the past almost year, uh, no, actually, no, it's been like seven, eight months. Uh, my dog has been dealing with sort of a chronic illness that was manageable at first, and we were getting her treatment, which was taking up a lot of time and, you know, kind of involved a lot of stress. Partly the reason why my upload schedule has been uh, sort of out of whack recently, even though this has nothing to do with me uh, stopping streaming or cutting back on streaming or anything like that. That's a separate thing, but it's one of the reasons why uh, the channel has been not as populated with videos as it used to be. However, with this chronic illness, we were managing it well, uh, things were going well, but unfortunately, a couple of circumstances which I don't really want to get into uh, sort of pushed everything out of whack and she just unfortunately kept deteriorating and she passed away about three weeks ago very peacefully uh, in her own bed uh, surrounded by us so that was like a very sort of peaceful process and honestly I in a way couldn't have asked for a better sort of death for her in terms this might sound weird but again I've had a lot of time to process this but you know um, with her circumstances she it was clear that she just kept getting worse and we were thinking about you know taking her and putting her to sleep however things just turned out differently and it, it was just a good thing that we got to say goodbye and all that and again, this might seem a little bit weird that I'm able to talk about this, you know. I've never been the type to like, you know, sob in a YouTube video or make like a teary, you know, black and white, sad piano music type deal. Uh, the reason is that I've been thinking about this a lot. There were several factors that made processing the whole thing easier. Number one being that we went on vacation like three days after. Uh, and the vacation really kind of helped push us, uh, me and the family, out of this headspace where we, we were just home, you know, kind of stewing in our misery. It really helped sort of like, you know, to get away from everything and talk about it, you know, have lots of drinks, you know. And we were pretty much laughing and sharing positive stories by the end of the week we were gone, which is really the thing, you know. Uh, it's always sad whenever sort of family member because you know I'm the type of person that considers a dog a family member passes away after a while you are only going to rem remember the fun times you know and that's really kind of the mentality I try to push towards second part of this video is about the future and moving on my dog passing away came with like two parts the grief came with two parts one of them is losing her like her personality and her looks and her character and everything. The second part is that basically in a couple of hours, I went from being a dog owner to not being a dog owner. And here's the thing. I love being a dog owner. I enjoy having a dog, teaching a dog, playing with it, taking it on walks, going places, you know, the whole kind of, um, thing that comes with dog ownership. Despite what it might appear like from this channel, I'm a very outdoorsy kind of person. I love going to places. I love, you know, traveling, seeing sights and all that. And the dog really just kind of helped push towards that. I'm 
not the type on the other hand to just like go to a forest and go on a hike on my own because that's just a little bit weird but going on a hike with your dog that's very fun combined with the fact that a lot of my social circle is dog owners so those two things made it very like extra difficult and added another layer of misery on top that I suddenly didn't have a dog I don't have anyone to go on a walk with you know no sort of reason to wake up early on weekends you know you know just the whole thing I'm sure people who have pets understand what I'm talking about so tying into this we decided with the family while we were on vacation that we needed a new dog and as of last Friday we have a new dog I'm going to put in some clips and some pictures his name because this little puppy is a he uh, is called Peretz Peretz is the Hungarian word for pretzel uh, so Peretz here has been with us for a little over a week and he is an absolute joy a lot of work he is going to be 11 weeks old tomorrow and it's just been a ton of work with him obviously if you've ever had a puppy you know what type of work it involves teaching him you know teaching him you know to go to the bathroom um, playing with him and all that So tying into this, the reason this channel has been again, once again, less active is because I'm just super busy with the dog. He's so little, you know, that we pretty much wake up. We have to wake up in the middle of the night to take him to potty, uh, just kind of teaching him. I'm spending a lot of time with him. Luckily, he is a puppy, so he is sleeping a lot. But the whole process is a lot of work. So. The way I'm doing YouTube now is whenever he's sleeping and I have a chance to record, I'm gonna get in a video, but definitely there's going to be a little bit of a sort of infrequency with my upload schedule. I'll try to keep everything together because again, I do have free time. He is sleeping a lot uh, and I'm able to work around it, but sometimes I'm just tired, you know, and I just have to sit and I don't know play Mortal Kombat or something one of the reasons as well that I'm able to talk about uh, my previous dog's death so calmly is that this new little guy has been like an absolute joy to have and he's really like you know lifted everybody's spirit because um, yeah you know you know what an 11 week old Labrador puppy is like aside from the fact that we still very much miss uh, Lassie our old dog he's not here to be like a replacement uh absolutely not and i think it's uh foolish you know when people go in and they look for a replacement for their old dogs that's not really the healthy mentality to go in with and you know people have found it weird that we got a dog so early that we only waited a week and a half but i think it's pretty much uh how any individual deals with it you know some people they lose their dog and they're not able to have a dog for like the next two three years some people get a dog the next day i guess we are somewhere in in between those two so that's the thing that's been happening in my life um not gonna lie here and say that it's been the best last month uh however things are on the up up you know it seems like we are getting somewhere I once again feel motivated again and this is something i need to say as well that aside from the fact that the new puppy is very tiring he is given some motivation back uh which was sort of lost when our old previous dog was sick 
uh, as it tends to you, you never want to see a dog or family member or whatever sick. So he's given a lot of joy and kind of motivation back. So videos are definitely going to be coming and I'm motivated to record and upload and all that. It's just really a time situation for now. Obviously, as he gets older, he's going to be a lot more behaved. I'm taking him to like obedience training classes from next month. So everything is going to be kind of just smooth and things will be back to normal. So this is just what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Again, you know, I don't often share my personal life, but again, as you guys, a lot of you knew about my dog, people who follow me on Instagram knew about my dog. I felt like it's worth sharing um, and definitely to keep you guys updated. And I'm not really going to post this anywhere else. Like I am not going to put this on Instagram, you know, people who are IRL friends and family, they know, but this is just the way I wanted to express myself. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here and videos are coming and, you know, follow me and do all the usual. It's kind of weird saying this in a video like this, but anyways, I'll just end it here. Take care guys. Take care. And goodbye. Peace out.